How you doing everyone? Today's short video is going to be how we rock face blue mist granite. And what I mean by that is we are going to take this nice smooth edge and we're going to turn it into a nice natural rock faced edge like you see here. What we're doing with rock facing on this project here is we're making the, the sills, the top caps to this veneer. If you're a new viewer, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and check out all the videos to this project and many others. So we're going to mark about a quarter of an inch line back from where we want to rock face. We got a one inch angled, forward angled carbide trow and hold and chisel. Three pound hammer. We got a tracer chisel with a carbide tip for cleaning up some edges. And we've got a little stone hammer for cleaning up some edges too. Okay, so we're gonna start at our corner from the side. Look where it landed. So where this last piece broke off, we're actually going to be shifting it over. We don't want to start our chisel there. We want to come over to another new piece. Slightly uh, tilt it back and then give it a nice couple taps and a good hit. Wow, that's a solid one, Benny. Mm -hmm. This is a solid piece, bro. You hear it when it hits? I do. Okay, so first things first, this skill set is not very easy to acquire. You are going to end up breaking a lot of pieces of granite, and it's going to take you a lot of time to, to kind of understand the best ways to hit it. And then if you try another stone or a different type of granite, your results can be totally different. This particular type of granite, blue mist granite, has very small granulars in the stone so it, it rock faces or chips off pretty smoothly pretty clean there's other types of granite that are commonly used around here one being gray granite which is your regular salt and pepper white looking granite and then you also have caledonia which has a little bit more colors a little bit more um, darker tones in it mixed in but the granulars are very large and it's very hard to rock face Gray granite's a little bit easier, but a little bit harder than the, the blue mist. However, with the blue mist being one of the easiest granites to rock face, you can still break them when hitting it wrong, or if you hit a weak spot in the stone, as I did coming up here in a minute. It happened to me, Benny. It happened to me, bud. What you don't want to happen, it happened. So there you have it. They, uh, they break sometimes and you're gonna break them if you wanna try to learn how to rock face. It's just bound to happen. Uh, the, the more experience you get, the more times you rock face, the less likely it's gonna happen because you'll know what kinds of things to avoid. Uh, you just kind of learn that after a while of rock facing. Uh, the angle of the chisel is something you got to learn compared to the type of stone you're using. Like I said before, some of the softer stones like limestone and sandstone, is it's much easier to do something like this as compared to stones like this, like granite. It's very hard, hard stone, so you're more likely to, to break it the wrong way and again, the, the larger the, the granulars in the stone, the, the higher your chances to, to damage it and break it on a line that you were hoping not to break it, I guess if that makes any sense. But I just wanted to uh, go through completely this piece that I've been rock facing. You guys have seen me do it from beginning to where we are now. We got it flipped over. 
and we're on the other side this is where you actually have a lot more of a chance to to really break something because the other side has been done so for some reason it makes it easier for it to break at a at a bad angle not quite sure why but you want to be a little bit more easy on this one and you want to have your chisel tilted back a little bit more when you go on to the the bottom side or the opposite side from where you started so another thing I wanted to mention was where do you actually rest your piece of, of stone to do this sometimes I lay my stone that I'm rock facing on top of another one so that it can help absorb the blow but then sometimes it seems like you have less of a chance to break it in the stone so it's kind of hard to to balance that if you're to put it in three-quarter stone like I have it here you need to make sure it's it's very evenly placed along the stone if there's any kind of sinkhole or, or gap underneath the piece that spot is very likely to to crack when you hit it because there's nothing holding it from the bottom to absorb the the blow from the chisel so if you're gonna put it on your base material like I have here make sure you put it on a very level and evened out spot All right. Benny we only got one spot that didn't go all the way through dude huh? Right there. That's, That's a really nice. good one. That's what we're gonna use the chisel like this for. We're gonna clean up that edge. There we go. And we're just trying to break off that smooth face so it looks textured. Money, dude. I was like really close, Frank Larry. <laughs> I got closer and closer. Nice. That's where we were before to where we are now. That one came out good, brother. You really did. Okay, so that piece came out excellent. Got a couple more pieces here that I just want to show you. One here in time lapse to give you a little bit of a quicker view how we get it done. But I, I really enjoy doing stuff like this. Customizing natural stone and stone masonry is probably one of my favorite things in this trade. I like working with concrete products, but I'm way more interested in, in working with natural stone, natural field stone, ledge stone, uh, pieces of granite like this. This is called tread stock. These are actually steps, like caps for steps that you would build. You would end up building your risers out of stone or stone veneer, and you would cap the step with this, and it'd be what you what you walk on. So coming up right here, I'm uh, gonna show you guys how I pretty much fix a, a bad break. So I was I was chiseling this one and I broke a big piece off. So what I'm going to do is just cut this sliver off and make the face nice and smooth again so that I can I can retry. And uh it's really the best way. If you end up breaking a piece too bad, it definitely stinks cuz you wasted some time. But you can see it's not much waste. You just cut off that little sli sliver. It brings you back to to a fresh cut side and you can you can try all over again. So to recap what we have to do, you want a quarter of an inch to three-eighths of an inch line marked further than your cut side. You want to start on the edges, or one of the edges of the piece. You don't want to start on the, the top side, or else it could make it crack down the, um, down the edge of it, down the corner, which isn't what you want. Next is you got to really find the, the correct angle for your chisel and like I said before that's gonna vary depending on the types of stone you have and the chisel I guess I have a forward slanting chisel so the angle that I have to hold it on is not too severe if you if you lean it back too far you're not gonna break through the piece far enough and you're gonna end up having those those saw cut pieces that you have to go back and and fix with your pointed chisel so you gotta find that correct angle that's probably the the number one thing in in rock facing is that correct angle. That's that can really make or break 
any kind of piece. You could get 99% of the way through a piece and you hit that last that last one at the wrong angle and you can break the piece. So just be careful. Take your time. But there's something about the sound the chisel makes that I just can't get enough of. Nice rock face. If you can learn how to do that, you can save yourself a lot of money in this industry. But to do that, you have to spend money. That's a $90 chisel. That's a $100 chisel. It's a probably $30 hammer, $20 something dollar hammer. So if you don't spend the money on a nice carbide uh, slanted tip chisel and a pointer like that, you will not be able to do this job. A regular chisel does not have what it takes. Right, Benny? It just doesn't. I'm going to have to see one in action, dude. See what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do it one day. Just go to yeah. Home Depot, buy their best chisel. Yep. <laughs> see what see, you can do with it. See what you can do with it. Yeah, you definitely can't do that work with it, though. So, there's that. There's that small video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, there's a lot of hardscape content like this on our channel. It's always me and this guy, so hit that like and subscribe. Peace.